Good everyone, my name is Graphics. In this video, we want to solve a problem involving interpenetration. And the question goes like this it says, An open topped conical upper penetrated by an inclined circular pipe shown in the figure as shown in the right hand side of the screen. Draw the given views to a scale of 1 is to 50 and complete them with the interpenetration curve. Use the cutting spare method, right? Now, first of all, we have to reproduce the figure at the right hand side of the screen. And if you look at the dimension of this figure, you realize that they are all in meter instead of the regular millimeter that we usually use in drawing. So the first thing you have to do is to convert each of these meter to millimeter, right? Then the second thing you will now do is to put them to scale because we are told one is to what? 50, right? So it's a reduction, we are reducing the size. Now if you look at the diameter, the first thing you do is for you to draw your vertical and what? Horizontal axis this way. Your vertical, right? And horizontal line this way. You can see that now when you've done that where they meet they are meeting at this point here right they are meeting at this point here so what you should do is at that point where they meet right at the point where they meet we are going to draw the circle because this is in third angle projection so what we are trying to draw now is the plan this way my arrow is pointing now we need to draw this bigger circle, this external circle, that is the base of what? Of the upper, right? And we are giving it to be 4.50 meter diameter. So when you convert it to millimeter, meaning you multiply it by 1000, that will give you 4.5. Then you divide it by 50, right? And that will give you what? 90 meter. So I'm going 90 millimeter. So I'm going to take my meter rule and I'll place it. I will measure half of 90 here. From 0 to what 45 right and I'll place it on this point here so when I place on this point here I'm going to be having a uh, base this way from this point I'll have my circle let me take a note right this is what we have here. That will be the first thing we are doing to draw that. Now, the second thing we are doing is this circle inward here has a diameter of what 1.5 meter. So convert it to millimeter, multiply by 1000. That will give you 1.5 and divided by what by 50. And that will give you 30 millimeter diameter. So you have need half of it, which is 15. So I'll draw zero and I'll measure 15 this way. Write this 15 here and I'll place it at the center point. And I'm going to draw this this way. You can see that. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're not going to draw the pipe that is penetrating the upper, which has a diameter of what 2.5 meter, right? Then we are going to convert to millimeter, multiply by 1000, that will give us 2500, then divided by 50, and that will give us what? 50. So I'll just measure half of 50. First of all, I'll measure half of 50 from 0 to 25 is the half of 50, right? And I'll place it at this point, at the center point, I'll mark up and I'll mark down. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to draw my line. From this point out to the little bit faint line i'll come here also from this point come here draw my line out a little bit you can see that now when i've done that then i'll come back to that now then i'll go to the upper itself i'm going to draw a line faint line across this point as long as it's not touching my plan right and i'm going to project 
this point the edge of it downward this way and i'll project the edge of this downward this way at least touch the base of this just touch here right so once i've done that um i will now measure the height of the upper which is giving us 4.5 right and 4.5 times 1000 that is 4500 divided by 50 that will give us what 90 right that is the height of the upper 90 so I'll measure 90 from the base here measure 90 0 to what to 9 is 90 right and at that point I will now draw an horizontal line this way you can see that now if I move my C square if I move my C square to this point here right I'll mark this point that is taking your faint line from here to here and if I come here also from this point here I'll mark this point this way can you see that so that point it meets will be thickened this manner and this point here also will be thickened in this manner right and i'm going to join each of these ends together this way from here to here right i'll join each of these ends together this way from here to here but i won't take in it this manner and similarly i'll do the same thing from here to here too but i'll use faint line due to the pipe that is intersecting it now when i've done that the next thing i am going to do is this where this pipe intersect this circle here i will draw it up this way to touch here so this point where it is touching will be where i'm going to draw my inclination of what 30 degree and when i place it this way this is the inclination of 30 when your t square your c square piece your t square in this manner and i'm going to just draw the line this way from here can you see that and similarly um i'll draw a line it must not, i don't want it to be taller than the upper itself so i'll draw something here faint line first so uh, since i drew with 30 degree here i am going to draw with what with 60 degree in the other aspect here i'll draw what 60 degree here can you see that I'm going to draw with what 60 degree in this manner the aim is for you to achieve angle of what 90 degree. Now the thickness of that is given to be what since it's not shown here, but at the base here, at the plan here, it is shown, and that is 50, right? Millimeter, which is equivalent to what 2.50 meter at a scale of 1 to 50. Is that taken? So I'll take half of it. Or I can just easily come here and take the measurement of this from here to here. Then I'll come to this point here and I'll mark here. And also what here you can see that so that is what i am going to what ticking now so i will not really taking it from here why am i not taking it because uh we're not ready to draw anything there so i'll just draw something like this then i have the, the can you see that so at this point is where I am going to draw this to touch here. Then at this point, this is where I'm going to draw this to touch here, and I'll close it up this way. And I'll close it up this way. Then I'll just take this from this point to be on the same spot here this way, right? I do the same thing here too. And I'll just close it up too, this way. And I'll close it up this way too, from here to here. Can you see that? So, we have successfully reproduced the figure that I displayed at the right hand side of the screen. Now we want to draw the interpenetrating arc here. Now the question says we should use method of what 
we use the method of cutting spare method what we have been doing all this why has been using cutting planes but now we want to use the cutting spare method so what you have to do is you get the point of intersection here right between this center and this center so when i place it this way i'm having this this way so this is the center here and you ensure that it is 90 degree towards to the inclination to this side of the upper so when i do that i will like get that i will just ensure that um this set 17 here i'm using or any of the number should be on the same line as the I see that so when on the same line this way so you're telling me that from here to here is what is 90 degrees right from here to here is what is now 90 degrees so now the reason i'll not take my compass and draw a circle that is tangential to what that is tangential to what i have here right it should be tangential that again to what tangential so when I place it there at this point, right, and I'll just draw a line that will shut it this way. Paint line. And the reason why we are doing this is that this particular cutting plane now, the cutting sphere here is tangential to the what? To the cone. And we use it to find the limit of the curve. That is the highest point of this curve. We're going to get the curve of intersection here. And when I've done that now, what I'm going to do here again is I will now extend this. I'm going to extend this point from here to touch this. And I'll extend this from here to touch this. Right? And I'm going to join them together. I'll join these two points together in this manner. Where they intersect. So that will be the limit of what? Of the curve that we actually need. Is that taking now? Now the next thing I'm going to do here will now be I will now take my C square. Now I use the C square to get this um I will now draw a line that is parallel to this line that will be passing through this center here. You can see that? Draw a line that will pass through this center here. Can you see that? The way the line intersects at this point, I will now take my compass. I will place it here to that point, and I'm going to draw another circle. Right? I'll draw another spare here. So where the spare cuts the sides of what of the cone. Right? I'm going to what project it at the same angle when i project it this way i'll be having this this and i'll also be having this also and this you can see that so what i'm going to do here is this also i'll move this where it's from 90 degree here i'm going to draw my line this way you can see that so where that line actually cuts Cut this line that, that came up here, this particular line. So that will be after this point, the next point will be this. Right? That is this line coming here. So I'll call this to be one and so that one should be what two. So where this cut this one is this, right? Then the other one coming from here also, where it cut this is this. Then the third one coming again. You can see that. So that third one coming is where it cuts the other point here, which is this. Then we have what we have the fourth one here. Is that taking? So doing that, I will now use my French curve and I'll join all these points together this way. Can you see that? That is what we have here. So this is my curve of what intersection, right? This is what we have here. This is what we are to to actually accomplish. This is just um, using the cutting spare method, right? So this is what we have.
So, um, so if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.